15 years old. He was a sophomore at Johnson High School in Hayes County. He was murdered by a, a drug dealer selling counterfeit Percocet pills. The pill he took contained eight milligrams of fentanyl, which is four times the lethal, lethal dose. There were no, there was no Percocet in the pill. That's just a portion there of Texas resident Brandon Dunn, who lost his son to fentanyl poisoning last year. His son and two other teenage boys from the same rural county died of fentanyl poisoning less than 60 days apart. As you saw, Dunn testified yesterday before the House Judiciary Committee, which held its first hearing on the border crisis. Brandon Dunn joins us live now. His wife, Janelle Rodriguez, are the co-founders of the Forever 15 Project. It's a nonprofit they founded after their son, Noah, passed away last August. Uh, we appreciate your time this morning, and thank you so much for coming on. If, if I can, um, Janelle, can I, can I start with you on this? Um, very sorry about your loss. And, and to even have you on you know, this platform to talk about it and to see what Brandon did yesterday, speaking on a national platform to congressional leaders. As we take a look at some of your family photos here, um, it's a difficult thing and you are using this platform to really shed light on what is happening at the border, not just really with the, the immigration system, but the drug trafficking that's happening. Talk to us about that, Chanel. Um, yeah, it, um, well, first of all, thanks for having yeah. us, um, on today. Um, yeah, it's been a struggle, um, but it's a fight that needs to be heard. Um, I, I usually do most of the talking, um, you know, locally, but um, I felt um, led to, to ask Brandon to speak um, at the hearing yesterday um, because I feel like having a dad's perspective and um, I feel like it was very impactful and powerful. Yeah, and, and we watched uh, Brandon speak. Brandon, I can go to you now. Um, can you tell us about Noah? Can you tell the viewers about what happened to Noah, uh, the decisions or choices that were made? And uh, for other parents out there, um, can you tell us his story? Um, so Noah got what he thought was Percocet from a friend. Um, and as I stated yesterday, you know, it was it was a counterfeit pill. Um, the cartels are smuggling these drugs into the country disguised as prescription medication. And what he thought was a Percocet was basically pure fentanyl. Um, and he he didn't survive. There was so much of the fentanyl in the pill that he basically had no chance at survival. I know that must be difficult to even speak to lawmakers in that in that setting. And again, you're you're bringing this to light, like Janelle said. Um, I wanted to to ask you and kind of close on this, if I can. I know I noticed that the words you use the uh, you use the term he was murdered, poisoning. Um, those hold consequences. Are you looking to see some changes in how fentanyl? poisoning is being handled by maybe state lawmakers, federal lawmakers, Brandon? Uh, we are. I know as far as federal prosecution goes, um, it's it's pretty stiff for fentanyl. They're, the, they're taking a very solid stance on that, according to what we've heard from the DEA. Um, the main thing is just getting people to realize it's it's not an overdose. It's a poisoning because these people that are passing away are not aware that the fentanyl is present. Um, so it wouldn't be any different than any other poisoning. Um, we just want to raise awareness because so many people are unaware of this issue and how deadly it is. 
and we're we're hoping to see some justice in Noah's case. Um, our local law enforcement has done an amazing job at investigating his case and and acting on it. Well, we appreciate both of you today. Uh, Forever 15 Project wanted to mention that you can go online to find more about that nonprofit online. Um, so sorry to hear about your loss. Our hearts go out to you and uh, sharing Thank the story. You. Thank Absolutely. You. That is Brandon Dunn, Janelle Rodriguez. We appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you.